the River Roburn. Um, the River Roburn got flooded badly in, in Storm Desmond. And when it was flooded, it washed away a ford here and the road of the bank, and it widened the river almost twice the width. We put in place a number of micro groins, veins, which are just rocks placed in the river that will alter the, the river flow. In river training, so what we're trying to do is trying to prevent this from happening again. Um, so we're trying to keep the rocks, use the rocks to take the water away from the bank. So here is one just above the ford. Um, so here the, the stones are going out from the bank and going upstream. And like this they encourage the water to go back into the centre of the river. Um, we've also got a big stone up against the bank trying to protect the bank. Um, this is the top micro groin that we've put in. At this point originally there were two or three rocks that were in a line pointing downstream, coming out from the bank and pointing downstream. And they pulled it in, the river in, and just started to erode the bank here. So what we've done is turn those rocks around and put them so they come from out from the bank, come upstream, and then the water that comes through them, between them, gets pushed into the centre of the river. And you can see this with the, the white foam that's coming through the distinct lines of pushing it into the river center. So even when there's in these rocks are, are buried deep in the river, this flow will still happen underneath. This is the second micro groin that comes out from the bank. You can see the big boulder dug into the bank which stops the water going behind that. All these boulders are, are buried into the into the rock um, so they're keyed in to the rocks around them. And when the water goes to the back of them, then it will come through the gap and come out into the river, the centre. And I expected to make this area deeper, just this side of the rocks, and to actually deposit along the bank smaller rocks and gravel along the bank below. That's the expectation. Going down the river, this is the third micro groin. Um, again, bigger rocks up against the bank and just here, three, four, five, five rocks coming out from the bank. You can see behind it where the, the bank was eroded, so it would be really interesting to see how that develops. When these big rocks were put in, basically the, the digger dug a hole in the riverbed and then put them in deeper into the riverbed. Um, that gives them a good key so they're unlikely to move. So that's what we're aiming for, is these to stay stable in a really big flood. Here the, the digger, um, driven by Robert Taylor from Taylor Environmental Groundworks. Um, he's moving the rocks, putting them in place, just gently with the digger, aligning them um, so that the flow of water goes through the gap. Just this gentle nudging of the, the rocks gets them in the right place. Getting another rock now to put in as the next next one. And then it comes along the bank, we've just supported this bank where it was eroded and put in a new ford across the river. Ford has been keyed in with some big rocks on the bottom edge of it and then smaller um, boulders and, and rocks making the main base of the ford. But what we've also done with this is to, part of it goes straight across the river where there was no problem and where we were trying to get it to move away from the bank we've actually keyed the, the ford going in at an angle downstream so again when the water comes over the, off the ford it ten, its tendency is to come out into the river again. So I hope this will also contribute to, to moving the river away from the bank. And this is coming down now to the bottom groin, micro groin. Um, this is one that's put in. This has got more rocks in it. It's an area where, again, there was a row of stones that was angled coming out from the bank and going downstream which pulled the river into the bank. So this is doing the opposite, hopefully pulling the, 
the river when it's in full flood away from the bank and preventing further erosion. Um, this area here, just behind it, is where Backbottom Farm used to be, which got washed away in the floods in the late 1960s. This horseshoe shaped area, will, which has got a big rock upstream at the top edge, and then smaller rocks coming out from it. And the idea is this, it will dig in a big storm, it'll dig out the rocks in between them and make this into a, a deeper hole. And then that will carry on downstream, but taking the flow of the river on that side of the river rather than this side of the river. This is an area on the edge of the river, Roburn, where there was a, a line of three or four rocks which came out from the bank and upstream. And you can see here how the gravel is built up around those rocks. This corner was quite a, a deep drop down into the river and now it's built up this big bank of rocks during Storm Desmond. So this is affected with the sort of work that we expect to happen with the micro drawings that we've put in. Here the, the digger, um, driven by Robert Taylor from Taylor Environmental Groundworks. Um, he's moving the rocks, putting them in place, just gently with the digger, aligning them um, so that the flow of water goes through the gap. Just this gentle nudging of the, the rocks gets them in the right place. Getting another rock now to put in as the next next one.